Hello, welcome to the Wealth Transfer, one of 1,000 news stations you have a choice with. <laughs> and I want to welcome you for joining us here. I'm Terry Saka, Chief Strategist. I'm along with Dr. Charles Vance. How you doing, Charles? Good. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Over a thousand news opportunities that people have. You know, I guess that's, a, that's what we're going to get into today. Uh, we're going to talk about distractions and options uh, because in not just our social life, but in the financial, we have so many outlets, so many opportunities for information how do we know, number one, what's true, what's not? And we were talking about um, more so, how did we put that? When we were talking about division, options, and choices, uh, there was a spiritual component to it as well. And that was sure. what James, I think you were saying? Oh, James uh, said what happens if you're going to pray. He said, ask in faith. He said, and don't waver. He said, if you do, you're double-minded. You guys have probably heard that scripture. Uh, he said double-minded, but if you look back into the original Greek language, it means two-spirited, which means your spirit's being pulled two different directions, or you're believing two different things, which can be extremely dangerous, <laughs> extremely dangerous. And well, right. that, that's what I really believe that our system, uh, if, you, if you believe the Bible, the Bible says Satan is the god of this world, and if you believe that he's the ruler of the world system, not the earth, but the system that is in the world, then you realize he's behind a lot of this stuff. And he knows division uh, creates weakness, and that's what he's going to do. He's going to pull us every way he can pull us. And you know what, that, that goes right to the point then here is we're in a, uh, what appears we call a culture of distraction. And in this particular culture that we're in, is, as Charles is alluding to, Lucifer just needs to divide us. And mm -hmm. in doing so, uh, he can keep us you know, weaker. And I think that's the key. That's how we've allowed sexually perverted politics, uh, left-wing socialist, anarchist, Marxist, to actually seem like they're somewhat mainstream when it's impossible, of course, when you're a rational person. And even going back you know, a few decades, we would think that'd be insane for America. But he's, if he can keep us weak, then he wins. And what I'm getting at is I realized, I was on the airplane and I was flying in and uh, I was sitting next to a really intelligent guy and, you know, has a great job, a great family, makes good money. And he's watching this documentary about World War II. And he's all pumped up and into it. And I realized the documentary itself was maybe a fraction of it accurate. And I'm thinking to myself, well, did he even realize or bother to ask, what's the nature of the source of the documentary? Who produced it? What motives might they have? To for offering what spin they did on World War II. Because I hate to say it, I'm not going to get into the details, but most of uh, you, the viewing audience right now, most of what you think you know about World War II isn't even accurate or is extremely distorted. If you want to do your own homework, just do uh, research rat lines, Operation Paperclip, get into some of that stuff and understand a little bit more about it. But the, th the point is, what we are putting into our mind through our eyes and ears, right, Charles? Mm -hmm. what, what's going into mm -hmm. our mind, we become. And now I'm, now I'm understanding a little more of how distracted we are as Americans. And our distraction is pretty extraordinary. And we're going to get into some of that to outline how divided we are in thoughts, principles, our religion, theories, financial, it's all misleading. Terry, the danger is what we lend ourselves to. Yes. Uh, if, if we expose ourselves to something, then that exposure is going to create, the, the Bible says it creates faith. Uh, he, you guys, you got, I'm sure you know these scriptures if, you, if you've got any Bible background. Romans 10 and 17, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. That word word is rhema, something spoken. Uh, if you go to Mark chapter 4, Jesus talked about the parable of the sower, and He said the sower sows the Word, W-O-R-D. It's logos there. It means anything that you expose yourself to. So you, we had talked about this earlier today, mm -hmm. that if you expose yourself to something, there is a law that God put in place. If you expose yourself to it long enough, it'll, you'll, you'll be persuaded that it's true. I've asked people in our congregation before and in many meetings that I've done, how many of you ever had anybody tell you a lie and you believed it? And almost everybody in the room raised their hand. 
And if you think about why you believed a liar, it's because you, you exposed yourself to them too long. Because normally the first time somebody tells you something that's ridiculous, you say, that's ridiculous. You know, I wouldn't believe that for a minute. But if you keep hearing them, if you keep staying around, if you hang around them long enough, keep hearing the same thing over and over again. Have you ever heard somebody say they've lied so much they believe themselves? And it's simply because they've heard themselves. It's a spiritual law and it's extremely dangerous. That's why Jesus said, pay attention to what you hear and pay attention to how you hear it. Because he said the same way you hear it, the same way you measure it, it's going to be measured back to you again. That can be very good for us or it can be very bad for us. Depends yeah. on what you're listening to. Yeah, very bad for a lot of things we see. And it's why, it's, why even in politics, it's becoming extremely distracting. Uh, because we, I mean, it, you would never believe that we would have such division in our country right now. I mean, we have such a racial division. Um, even white people are made to feel like they're inferior now because of all these crazy professors in the university system. I mean, the division is, is so Luciferian. Uh, as a great example financially, uh, when he says you believe a lie, I believe politics has gotten to the epic of epic of distraction and distortion. And one great example in manufacturing, for instance, and we're going to get into some of this outlining more so um, over the next few weeks, showing you true nature of the global and American system because it's coming and it's, we keep saying it and people keep saying you keep saying it. I'm like, hey, I would be prepared to have peace of mind than not because if you knew the data, you would understand. Here, here's one to jump in with. Jesus is going to return and they've been saying it ever since he's been on the earth. But that doesn't mean he's not going to return just because they've been saying it. And it doesn't mean we better not be ready. <laughs> exactly. Okay, good. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So <laughs> let, let me just give this example as like a lie. Or technically, it would be a half truth, but it's really a lie because the intention is to deceive you. So, for instance, President Obama came out and just recently he's ending his uh, duties as president, thank God. Um, and he came out and said, he touts all the time, always talks about himself, he's pretty narcissistic, but uh, he talked about manufacturing, for instance, and he said, well, on my watch, we made, we had brought back 800,000 manufacturing jobs during my presidency. And I'm thinking, okay, that's a lie. And here's the actual fact. In January of 2009, when President Hussein Obama took office, there was about 12.65 million manufacturing jobs. Now, mind you, this is about a year after the economic collapse. Uh, things have washed out pretty good. He comes in and there's 12.65 million manufacturing jobs. Now, while the president and Democrats control the House and Senate, they decided to take care of everything else besides the economy. They jammed down the banking stuff. They jammed Obamacare and they didn't address anything. Matter of fact, they added more burden to the economy. Now, in around 10,000 February 2010, the manufacturing jobs had collapsed to somewhere near 11 and a half million. Now, where he's getting his 800,000 number is he has ended his tenure with about 12.3 million manufacturing jobs. So he's saying that I have created from the low point of his control back up, I've created these jobs. Yet, from when he came in to when he is leaving, there is 300,000 less manufacturing jobs in the United States. So not only has he not created a job in manufacturing in the United States, he's 300,000 less and 87% of all employment and jobs created during the uh, Barack's uh, tenure, part-time. This is astonishing truths and blending of, of some information that is true and then a lot of distortion and lie. And I really believe it's intentional because that really is how the liberal left does it anyway. And they believe if they can lie to you enough, then you start to believe. So when I'm getting into the culture of distraction and we're talking about how we the people are assuming information or consuming information, we have to be very cautious at what sources. Always go to the source and ask. I have plenty of people contact us. And, you know, I want to let you know that uh, right now, if you have not, go to wealthtransfernews.com. You can go there to actually watch the television shows. We also have a daily radio program that's on numerous cities around the country. Uh, you can go listen to that as well. 
Um, it's a beautiful site for uh, as far as the media goes. So I encourage you to go there. But you know, just as important as we're starting to outline what is true and what is being told, I think you're going to find preparing and protecting yourself vital. And I would highly take advantage of that. So let's go ahead, uh, take this quick break. Um, I would write down the information if you have not, at least have it. So when you really get the nudge in the spirit to go forward and get protected, you'll have it. So let's take a look. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you secure your financial future by protecting and preserving your assets through silver and gold. The protection and preservation of your investment is our first goal. So we are here to serve you with honesty, transparency, and respect. And for a limited time, Cornerstone will waive your first year transfer and setup fees when you roll over your current IRA into a gold or silver IRA. That can save you as much as $1,000. Take control of your future. Register on our website at cornerstoneassetmetals.com or give us a call at 888-747-3309. At Cornerstone, securing your future is our goal. I would take advantage of that package offer that Cornerstone's doing. They are offering that they will take your transfer fees and first year setup fees, and that, that could be up to a thousand dollar value. It's a pretty extraordinary uh, blessing to the kingdom. And they also are including a tenth ounce silver coin with the packages for those that do have IRAs to protect and want that information mailed to them. So it's a pretty extraordinary offer. It's a way to get the new year started. Uh, but being educated is very important, and understanding that the silver derivative market is so manipulated, uh, about 600 ounces sold on paper for every one real ounce in the vault for delivery. You'll understand that it's a wonderful place to be for future uh, storage of wealth, as well as be there for the wealth transfer that's coming because this fiat system will be compromised and being silver, the only constitutional dollar, Article 1, Section 8, and biblical money, it's a good place to park it. Uh, for those that did since 9-11, they are up substantially over everyone else, and I think it's just something to take heed to. So um, let's get into some of this, uh, you know, evidence of what is distraction? What is a, you know, where are we getting at? And I think we all know, but let's just kind of go through it a little bit here. For instance, if we go into four in 10 Americans often get their news online. So there's kind of a breakdown of this. There's 57% say they go to TV, uh, 40%, 38% goes to the computers, go to online, 25% radio, uh, 20% print. Matter of fact, that's the average newspaper, right? So the newspapers you can see are just gone. That's probably print and uh, be magazines and magazines and, 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 yeah, and yeah. newspapers. So you it can just read shows all that you, stuff online, now. right? So it just yeah. shows you where people are getting their information. So now in these categories, as you see, in those categories, you can only imagine the epic amount of choice. On television, you must have dozens of different news channels, news options. They call one mainstream, then the other they call alternative, when I actually believe alternative is probably more of the mainstream. I think the importance of understanding this is that we are only a product of what we put in. No different than if we ate donuts every day at McDonald's, we would be really, really <laughs> overweight and sick. So the point is, as we do with information, it's the same thing. So news and financial data. And that's probably why uh, we've had not a lot of conversations is how is it that people in the kingdom are sitting here trying to catch the top of a stock market that is in epic bubble territory, and yet they're not heeding the warnings. Now, granted, their financial advisors are kind of brainwashed to the fiat world. They're trying to just make a living. But we're here to tell you about the actual real money, real wealth, and real data of what's taking place. Because it's not just our news sources, mind you. It's also us, isn't it? Well, it's, it's everybody. It's what people listen to. Yeah. Uh, it's what, the, you know, if, if you really look at television, the majority of it's put together by liberal people, socialists. That's right. If you look at movies, same thing is true. Yeah. Uh, look at the people that are writing movies, producing movies. There's always going to be something a little. We go to movies yeah. sometimes. It looks like it's perfectly everything's wonderful. They got a little nasty twist somewhere stuck somewhere in, in there. Yeah, and it's just that you're just wiggling something into your life, uh, and they're doing this with uh, anything that the medium. If if they're not Christian, 
and they're not based on the scripture, uh, it's going to be something, they're going to wiggle something in there. You've got to be prepared and it's up to you to make sure that you, that you protect your own mind with truth. Well, and here's another mm. part of that then. So not only do we have the distractions of the news and distractions of the media and distractions of entertainment, we are so wrapped up and consumed in what I call micro bubbles of our life that even in mm. text messages and our Facebooks and, and YouTubes and going on the internet to do research. And I notice as I travel, because I do travel often, I notice it, we have completely disconnected socially. Everyone's in the phone. You look at a family, you know, the, the husband will be on the phone and the mom's like looking around going, mm. gee, I wish I could talk to someone or she'll be on the phone. Then the kids are on the phone and there's no mm -hmm. real interaction. So we're having psychological breakdowns and I think this is all by design, of course, Luciferianly, because it's going to set us up so when this economic collapse happens, we won't have a base or a foundation to turn to because we're not morally, mentally, educational, financial in sync. We're very distracted. Now, mind you, it's not just media entertainment. What else is, as Charles started alluding to? Yes, our own Christianity. And even on a full screen, you know, you could see our own Christianity is. How many denominations do we have? Literally, probably a couple hundred. And what's the very word definition of denomination? Division. Division. It's the same, same thing we use for our money. Yes. Different denominations. Different denominations. Yeah. So, see, even the devil had had his hand in keeping us as Christians. So now we have in our Christianity, we have those that believe um, don't worry, we don't do anything, we don't get involved in the world, we just wait for Jesus to come. We have those that say, you know, we don't we have to do it, God's going to take care of us. And then those that believe God gave us authority over all the power of the enemy, and he gave us the authority and ability to, with wisdom and understanding, to see the truth. Those that say, well, we don't have to do anything because of this, or there is no such thing or gifts, and those that say, absolutely there are. Those that say, oh, Christians can't have demons, and then of course there are those who say, absolutely so you, all of a sudden, as, as a minister of the gospel and a student <laughs> of the word of God, let me tell you that everything that God created works by the principle of seed time and harvest. It's an example. There's an example of it by just looking at the operation of the earth. And Jesus even said in uh, Mark chapter four, that everything that operates in the kingdom of God, he said, if you don't understand this principle, he said, you can't understand any parable that I tell you. And then he told about sowing a seed, a time period, and reaping a harvest. Wow. Everything in the world operates by that. Yes. And that seed could also go into what kind of uh, doctrinal theories we're Absolutely. getting religiously. It, it's what you're planting in what yourself. What you're planting in and yeah. what news we're hearing. If you're watching mm -hmm. that communist news network, uh, <laughs> CNN, you're going to be having thoughts like this, right? So you're not getting it. I mean, look at these different denominations in Christianity. We wonder why in the kingdom, I always wonder why mm -hmm. some are not preparing. What in God's name does a pastor say, well, you don't need to prepare. God will take care of you. Have you ever heard the joke about, you know, the guy in the water and he's drowning and a boat comes by and says, no, 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 God's taking care of me. And then a helicopter comes by. No, 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 no. Don't worry about God's taking care of me. And then the guy actually dies, goes to heaven, says, hey, God, why didn't you save me? He says, hey, my son. And I'm not going to tell you what I really would say. <laughs> I sent a boat and a helicopter for you. Why didn't you take it? The point exactly. is information is there, but there's people preaching wrong things. There's new mm -hmm. news media spinning wrong things. What we're trying to say here at Well Transfer is extremely real. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught up in the Trump effect. I know it's exciting, and I know he's definitely the better manager to steward what is coming. But here we are, at, and I'm talking deep. We're going to get into this over the next few weeks. Here we are, and I'm explaining that this is a globalist agenda. They are really upset that Donald Trump has now become president. You know, think about it. They have tried everything they could to keep him from being legitimate president. And all you hear nowadays is the Russian hacking, Russian hacking. Number one, they did not hack the election. If anything, they released some emails from the DNC or John Podesta. But what they're not talking about, which is astonishing to show you how Lucifer is in it, what did the emails say? about the criminal behavior of the campaign towards Bernie Sanders and about the deeply perverted and demonic stuff of John Podesta. And the point is, no one's talking about the emails, you see. 
And so here we are, and I'm saying now, instead of Clinton winning, here's what the globalists are going to plan. This economic crisis is coming. And here it is on headlines. I couldn't even believe it as we sat down. Here it is. China is going to go to Davos and defend globalism. Now remember, globalism is no borders, no sovereign rights, technocrats at the top like in Europe control you. Basically one world order. That's globalism. That, that, that's what the Bible calls it. Exactly. One world government. That's one exactly world right. World. And that's globalism. Now, yeah. here's Z, Zhu Zhi, whatever his name is. I'm sorry, I don't have really much respect for him. He's a communist. But here he is saying this, and he comes out and says, populism brings war and poverty. I couldn't believe that just happened. Well, they've got to defend their, their doctrine. I know, but where I'm getting at this, Charles, is so deep. What I'm trying to get at is, he's talking about populism bringing war and poverty, and I've been saying on, on radio, the Wealth Transfer News Radio, I was saying how they're going to set Donald Trump up. When this economic collapses, they're going to collapse it on his watch, my guess, very, very soon. And they're going to say, see, it's populism, and it's, it's Donald Trump, it's conservatism that caused this economic crisis in your life. <laughs> and, of course, look at Donald Trump picking war with China over the trade deals. Um, it's amazing that I was talking about this weeks ago, and he cares the Chinese president come right out and saying it. So I'm, I'm serious about, if anything, being educated and getting protected. Know at least where you're at. Don't get pigeonholed in thinking that the world system, stocks, bonds, cash, is so righteous and true when it's a dishonest weight and measure. Get educated. Get information. There's phenomenal offers going on with Cornerstone right now. Let's take a break and check it out. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you secure your financial future by protecting and preserving your assets through silver and gold. The protection and preservation of your investment is our first goal. So we are here to serve you with honesty, transparency, and respect. And for a limited time, Cornerstone will waive your first year transfer and setup fees when you roll over your current IRA into a gold or silver IRA. That can save you as much as $1,000. Take control of your future. Register on our website at cornerstoneassetmetals.com or give us a call at 888-747-3309. At Cornerstone, securing your future is our goal. Very Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 says this, and I'm not getting off subject. I oh, won't no, be able to catch this. I know you're going to put it in there. <clears throat> Remember that it is the Lord your God that giveth thee the power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he, which he made or swear unto thy fathers. Now, I want you to watch this. This word power, he said that it's God that gives you the power, the ability, the capacity to get wealth. He didn't say he would give you wealth. He said he would give you the ability or the capacity to get wealth. That's why it's so important for us to learn what we're supposed to be doing and do it. Because if we don't, just because we've been given the capacity to get wealth or the ability to get wealth doesn't mean that we will. And we've got to be people uh, that secure our financial future. Don't wait for somebody else to do that for you. If you, if, my goodness, help us, Lord, if you're waiting on the government to do that for you, don't do that. Or if you're waiting on the stock market to do it, make sure that you plan it yourself. And if you do, God will bless, I believe he'll add his blessings to it. Well, matter mm -hmm. of fact, he already has. For those that have been in silver since 9-11, when they really the, the, the pivot of this culture took a place, uh, those that have been in silver since 9-11 are up well over 300%. So a quarter million dollar IRA in 9-11 is now worth about a million dollars. And this is that silver is such a low price right now. But that's just the fact. And I don't think there's many people out there that had a quarter million at 9-11 that are worth a million dollars in the stock market. So the point is, we're being misled because we're distracted. We're living lives of distraction. We're not giving enough time to the prayer relationship with Christ to see the truth and go into the right source. And that's why at Wealth Transfer, over the next few weeks, we're gonna really get into some very interesting stuff and then ask you some questions, I think, to help apply to your life. Because how distracted are we? If you think about it, not just in media, not just in news, not just in computers, but then we have entertainment. 
I mean, think about it. We have Disneyland. We have all the theme parks. We have water parks, animal parks. I mean, it goes on and on and on. I know you're laughing. Yeah, do folks. <laughs> well, well, it That's is. because I, Charles it is loves Walt Disney World. He loves it. And, <laughs> Not but, Disneyland. Disneyland. Disney World. <laughs> but he, the point is, we are so distracted. Look at this stuff we're distracted by. Look at how many media outlets there it's never are. Ending. Corporations controlling your thought process. It is a deep cesspool of distraction. Now, the reason this is important, if we are distracted, or better yet, it both distracted and what we are putting in to our mind, as Charles clearly said by scripture, we become. So you could be an intelligent person, a kind person, and a Christian, but if you're watching the communist news network CNN, and paying attention to regular te secular television or watching local news, you're done. You're not having one ounce of any reality in your life. And then you're watching movies and all this entertainment world and you think this is how it should be and now you lost hope because you're not as sexy as someone or as rich as someone. You see, our brains are being squished. Our relationships are being divided. But in the end, the finances and the data is true. And if we in the kingdom are to be protected and preserved and to keep ourselves away from this social media anarchist distraction of our soul is destroying our families, we're not gonna stop. But I'm merely saying, put the right food in. As my wife's doing with me, I'm probably 80, 20. 80% of the time I'm drinking the green drippy Slurpees with coconut oil and flaxseed and you name it. Once in a while I have that pizza hamburger, you better believe, but the point is, it's what are we putting in? Put in the right information, get educated, protect yourself. Don't be taken by the distractions of the news and the media and make sure your so sources are righteous and real. We'll catch up more next week. Thank Check you. out wealthtransfernews.com. You'll love the website if you like, if you've made it this far in the program, I know you'll love the website. Check it out. Check out some more of these programs. Tell somebody about the broadcast. We're going to be back next week, same place, same time. Watch us right here for Wealth Transfer News. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you secure your financial future by protecting and preserving your assets through silver and gold. The protection and preservation of your investment is our first goal. So we are here to serve you with honesty, transparency, and respect. And for a limited time, Cornerstone will waive your first year transfer and setup fees when you roll over your current IRA into a gold or silver IRA. That can save you as much as $1,000. Take control of your future. Register on our website at cornerstoneassetmetals.com or give us a call at 888-747-3309. At Cornerstone, securing your future is our goal.